Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Bromsgrove. He's 25 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 61 kilos. He fights out of Worcester University, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Ashley, the blogger, and you. opponent fighting out of the red corner he hails from Leicester he's 21 years old stands 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighed in at 61 kilos he fights out of Leicester shoot fighters and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins let's hear it for Jamie Day Walker and Molyneux Okay, so bout number five, we have Ashley Newman. Newman is in the blue corner with the black shorts. His opponent, Jamie Molyneux. Molyneux from Leicester shoot in the grey, green shorts, sorry, in the red corner. This is bantamweight. This is set to be another fast paced round. Always something we see with a lot of weight guys. They're always willing to go out there and really be explosive. Jamie Molyneux, I've had the pleasure of seeing fight before. A very aggressive young man. Good with takedowns and look at that takedown. I was just going to say, he's got an unblemished 100% takedown record and he keeps that with another well-schooled takedown there early on in round one. Beautiful wrestling takedown that from the double. And straight into the mount position. And looking to posture up, land some shots to the body if you can do. So, posturing up, some hammer fist down to the shoulder of Newman. More than anything, I think he's trying to isolate that arm if he can do. Newman coming and trying to reverse. Interesting how we see a change of tactic. Pro rules, they would pin against the cage from here. C-Class, they're trying to turn away from the cage to give themselves room to perform the submission. Jamie Molyneux, what I like he's got from that mount position is that he's just dropped it off now, but before he had those legs grapevined, and it's a really good position to be in from the mount because you can really anchor your, your opponent's posture from underneath there. So Molyneux has caught Newman's left arm no he hasn't Newman's got his arm free and we can see him posturing to move what's he thinking what's going through that head I mean for me he's got to be thinking that he's got the advantage on the ground and he's really unable to manipulate those arms but it's going to be somebody who's training the left to shoot and it looks like he's going for the arm triangle there if he can just step himself over on the left hand side yeah it looks like he's uh going to fire a few shots before he does so but I fully agree with you if he clears that mount position no Newman's uh, Newman's arm is out so Molyneux trying to reclaim I mean just a minute left in this round and it's been really action action packed from Molyneux's point of view because as soon as he landed that takedown he has been relentless in working but as, I, as I was saying with him training at Leicester shoot he's going to be with some great grapplers and he's well, going to train in a variety of situations and here's the triangle choke and he that's, has got that locked deep. in position. That is deep. I love the way that he held that leg in position first. He's given his opponent very little choice. That is a tight triangle choke. And there we go. He's going the to hands tap. coming yeah, up and there's on. the tap. Another fantastic win there from uh, Jamie Molyneux. And the grappling differential was truly the top and bottom of that. What a fantastic win for Molyneux with a great submission. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after just two minutes and 27 seconds of round one, your winner, due to a tap out by triangle choke from the red corner, Jamie Day Walker and Molyneux. Let's hear it for a very gallant runner up. Let's hear it for Ashley and Newman.